Tomorrow will be 25 years since Hurricane Andrew struck South Florida. And this morning, we continue our series of special reports to mark that anniversary with CBS4 Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer. Here's Craig's conversation with meteorologist Brian Norcross, the man credited with saving many lives the night Andrew flattened much of South Miami-Dade. With this being the 25-year anniversary of Hurricane Andrew, of course, a name that comes to everybody's mind, Brian Norcross. Brian, an exhibit here. Tell me a little bit about this and, and your 25 years since then. It's, uh, it's unbelievable that it's been 25 years. In many ways, it seems like it was just yesterday. Matter of fact, people that went through it tell me to this day that they divide their lives between before Andrew and after Andrew, and, and that's, that's really true for most of us. It changed my life. It made me a hurricane person. and. and and I'm um, really proud to be associated with this exhibit. It's really incredible. What have we forgotten since Andrew? We, we've forgotten just how bad it can be. I, I mean, I'll tell you, I, I wrote a book about this. And looking back at, at the stories, people's stories, and rereading the stories that were done at the time, you, honestly, even I forget uh, how bad it was. I mean, you know, you can describe it. You can look at the, the pictures of this devastation and houses and everything just, just wrecked. And then when you really read the stories and really talk to the people, you realize it was worse than the pictures show. So we're here at History Miami, and Brian, let's take a walk around and see what brings back memories. Okay. The exhibit has all these sections. So this one is the before the storm section, and then we go into the actual storm hitting and the coverage of it, and then the aftermath and the legacy is the end part of the exhibit. You know, the folks that put the exhibit together told me it was hard finding stuff from South Dade because, you know, after the hurricane, everything was wrecked. People had to throw it away. So before the storm, there was a sense that something was out there. We knew something was out there, but we really didn't think it was a threat until three days before as a very possible maybe, and really only a day and a half before, before we were like, okay, we really have to get ready for this. So everybody has anxiety when a hurricane's coming our way or we're in the cone and things like that. But there's that critical point in time, and you've told me about this, the point where you can't hope anymore. Tell me a little bit about that. Right, so it happened uh, in the case of Andrew Sunday evening when it was clear that it was going to be really, really bad for some part of South Florida, probably Dade County at that point, but I wasn't even sure about that 100%. But it was, what was absolutely clear was that all the people that we had heard about and talked to, they were saying, no, I'm going to wait and see. There was no more waiting to see, no more hoping it's not coming. All energy had to go into preparing. Right? That's what we wanted people concentrating on. So I actually said on television, it is going to happen tonight. We can no longer hope it is not going to happen. A lot of us remember Brian from that time. And tomorrow morning, we'll wrap up our series of special reports on the 20th anniversary of Hurricane Andrew. CBS4's David Sutta will take a look at the recovery of South Dade. Yeah,